This is uh, one of my latest pieces. It is a sculpture of St. Brendan. And uh, what I wanted to do with St. Brendan is basically have him pointing out as if he's on a voyage actually seeing the distant horizon of the sea. Very dynamic uh, figure, very intense face. When I do a, a saint, I like to capture the spirit and the intensity of these saints. And so here, everything about him is, is very much in motion, very much powerful. You can see he's uh, in front of a, a Celtic cross, and I just love the Celtic cross, and I love the history of St. Brendan. So I took this opportunity to actually sculpt specific scenes. There's basically hundreds of scenes of St. Brendan, or hundreds of stories about him. I took a couple of his uh, popular ones. I did it kind of in a, 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 a style that was uh, close to the style that you would find on the Book of Kells, a very Irish style. As you can see here, his, uh, this is the, the story of uh, his uh, ship or his boat, uh, thinking it's on an island, actually uh, setting its uh, rest on a sea monster. Here you have uh, the uh, uh, paradise, the island of paradise that St. Brendan legendary, uh, legendarily found. Uh, the paradise here has Adam and Eve, and you can see that Jesus is on the tree of life, and you can see different birds and, and fruit and whatnot. And here, uh, I forget the name of, of, the, of the saint or the hermit that St. Brendan actually visited on an island himself. But, these are our stories, just to give a kind of a, a, a flavor about the, the richness of the heritage of uh, St. Brendan. And as you can see here, it's a beautiful uh, bronze uh, green patine, ancient patine. And the stone part of the sculpture, and I, I basically perceive it as just one sculpture, it goes up like a, a, a cross here. But I decided to use actual limestone, ancient limestone, and uh, how this uh, effect was created is actually we uh, carved the, uh, the, the, the uh, bottom part out of a huge block of stone and put it in an acid bath to make it look like it's around 200 years old. And as you can see at the bottom of this here, you have the uh, little wave pattern. And I thought it was a, a nice uh, uh, little accent, a Celtic accent of having the, uh, the waves on the bottom and the back. The back's pretty simple, uh, but it is a beautiful uh, piece that shows what can be done with two different materials on a sculpture. Thanks.